much man on golf today. I'm Zach Hackett. This is Moss Wayne Analysis. Let's take charge of your game. Hello and welcome to this week's My Swing Analysis. This is where we analyse one of your golf swings. Absolutely, guys. Get involved. Go to the Facebook, Instagram and Twitter today. Enter the competition and use the hashtag My Swing Analysis and you never know. It could, could be, be you. Yeah. And guys, look, we um, if you don't win, uh, we actually do lessons in person as well. So if you do fancy coming out a lesson with myself and Andy, it's info at meandmygolf.com. Email us at that. And also, if like our swing analysis winner, you're actually in Australia or somewhere else like that, and you can't get to us, we actually do do online lessons as well at we me do, and my We do do, <laughs> double do do, uh, at me and my golf .com. Yes, okay, right. Okay, so, <laughs> right, so as you can see, we've got Zach from, he's from a small town called Appin in New South Wales in Australia. And Zach is, he's only been playing, Zach Hackett, by the way, he's only been playing three months, Pierce. Okay. Um, and for, for that, he's actually got a really good golf swing for nice. three months, you know, in terms of his a very fresh golfer. So, Zach is struggling with the driver like most people who start okay. the game. He's struggling with a slice, his irons are pretty good. His friends say he's a handicap of about 29, but he'd love to get below 20 this year. So, um, I think when it's, when, because he's so fresh, Pierce, Zach, we're going to give him some very much... Um, some body drills yeah. and a swing drill that can really help facilitate the movement and get him sort of learning the, 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 the correct movements of the planting, golf swing quite early. Planting really. a good seed now so that you grow into this fantastic golfer. There we go. So and let's take way, a Greg look. Greg Norman didn't start playing golf till he was 18 as well, so you've got a bit, you, you're okay, you're start. four years up on him. Right, okay, let's take a look at Zach from the front view. So front view, you can see here, he's set the camera up perfect. He's got his ball position and his setup looking very, very nice, good. You'd yeah. think he'd been playing for about five years. Uh, when we go and take a look at the backswing, from the front view, it looks pretty good. Um, there's a little bit of leg movement. You can see the front leg is just sort of kicking in a little bit and doesn't quite complete a full turn in his backswing. Um, but as he comes down to impact and through, we'll see. It's reasonable, but he stays very quiet with his feet through the ball, yeah. and his right foot stays very much on the ground after impact into his finished position. Now, when we go and take a look at his down-the-line view, this is where we're going to sort of notice a few more things. So, as he moves away, he starts okay, but what happens as he gets halfway back, the knees start to kick in and bend a little bit more and almost start the downswing a little too early. So they collapse and then start the downswing before he's even completed that yeah. turn. And it makes it very difficult then to get the club swinging on a good plane. Now the angle's pretty good that Zach swings on, but it just comes forward and over the swing plane and too much in front really. So, and then as, as you can see in the through swing here, we can see his right foot again, very much planted on the ground. So. I think the body, the body as we can we can see, isn't quite doing what we'd like nope, from a backswing perspective, but also in the through swing. So if we can educate that piece, yeah, definitely, um, and then maybe give him some something to work on his golf swing, it's going to change quite a lot, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. I think I think the first thing to do is let's get rid of the golf club. Yeah, I think that's the first thing we should do, just so you can start. Um, you know, you can do this at home in front of a mirror works really well to start with, just so you can actually make sure that you're doing the movements you, you the, that you want to do. So. Stand up, and you're going to join in with us now. Okay, so what we're going to do, go into your golf stance. Now, as you said, Andy, it's looking really nice, isn't it? His setup is actually looking Very good. neutral. So what we're going to do, you can put your hands around here, you can put your hands on your shoulders like so, but what we want you to be able to do, whilst in your golf posture, the first thing we need to be aware of is that we're going to be stable in the lower body. Yeah. You can see that Zach's knees were moving around a little bit more than we'd want. So stable lower body. From there, the hips and the chest will turn, obviously into the back swing, but you can see my lower body, I'm maintaining that stability as I wind up my upper body over the top of it. Big turn into this right hip now, which is great. And that lead leg, yes, it's moving slightly, but it's not collapsing and going forward, Piers. Yeah, it's got to move, but you know, you, you're not gonna be, well, you may be able to keep it there. You're only 14, Zach, but you know, you've got to allow that leg to move, yes, but under control. So if you can sort of mirror image this, literally by standing in front of a mirror, that will really help you. So again, good wind up, good wind up, good wind up. Okay. And you can see here, just about the legs as well, we haven't lost those, they haven't lost the height in those knees. What, what Zach does as he goes back, he sort of, those knees almost increase in flex and, and go down as opposed to, like we're saying, getting that nice wind up Without into the down side. Yeah, absolutely. So from here then, we need to start the downswing. So as we know, Zach is going to stay back on that trail side with the driver. I'd say with the irons, he's probably a bit different maybe, but with the driver, we can see he's going to stay back on this trail side. So what we need to do is to push off that trail side. 
So straight away, I'm pushing my lower body toward the target. So the first move is a bumping of the lower body toward the target. Then I start to turn my lower body. Obviously, my upper body then is following and is unwinding, it's unwinding, it's unwinding until we get through into the finish position. And we can see that the, we've got the spikes now on the bottom yep, of my shoe. That right toe on my the, on right the knee is virtually touching my left knee. My chest and my belt buckle are fully turned to at least the target. We could even go left of the target. But you can actually practice this, as I say. Slow motion is really good because you build the, the resistance better and you actually feel it better as yeah. well, so you can remember it quicker. Okay, it's like so learning to walk again almost. Good, so put this into a full, more of a fuller motion pace now. You've done two nice slow motions. Okay, put yeah. This into a so literally of a... back and Perfect. through. And do you know what? For the people at home watching this who, let's say, have been playing for 10 years or even more, yeah, they definitely. will look at this and think, well, this is easy. But yeah. do you know what? For, for somebody who's been playing 10 years, we could get them doing this and it would feel it would feel different, wouldn't Definitely, you say? Without doubt. Um, I think any one of you at home, if you were to have a go at this, you'd be quite surprised how difficult this is for some people to do, isn't it? Everyone stand up and have a go at it. There we yeah, go. Absolutely. Okay, so that's the body motion. That's educating the body. That will yep. really help create the wind up on the way back, but then sort of get you sequence to the downswing as well. But mm -hmm. we need to have a little bit of a, a look at his downswing piece and give him something to marry up with his body. Yeah, so we need to get the arms sorted, really, because as you saw from the video, we know that the arms were coming out yep. away from the body. So the plane was was actually okay, it was what we call shifted. So the, pl the hands and arms are coming out in front of the body like so. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna, can you grab that for a second? Yeah, yeah. Actually? In fact, you can play that, you can lay that on the ground for me. So I'm gonna take my setup, okay? Now you will notice, just make sure I'm aiming at the right part of the fairway. So you'll notice now that Andy's just put that alignment stick on the ground parallel to my target line, okay? So what we are saying then, when we swing down, I want you, Zach, to get that club and lay it on top of the one on the ground. I think I've done a pretty good job there. Now we know from here that you, there'd be less hip turn, but your hands and arms would be having the club out there. So you'd be parallel to your target line, but you wouldn't be on top of this one. And this is really important. So you're laying the club shaft on top of the alignment stick, which is on your toe line. So I'll do that again. So. Again, hopefully you're starting to get a better wind up now because you've been practicing the body drills and then from there lower body bumps then it obviously starts to turn but then the club we lay it on the line so this is really going to get the arms and body more connected to the uh, sorry the arms more connected to the body you're still working the lower body in terms of starting first but it's just going to give you a good feeling of everything sort of working a little bit more in sequence really and uh, training this good swing plane at an early stage is, is crucial just to be able to to get you as close to that plane for as, for as long as we can. If you wanted a key feeling with this sack, you'll feel that your left bicep is touching up against the chest. So it will, be, it will be staying in. When you do that, when you throw the club out in front of you, you'll find that's disconnected. So whenever you're doing these back swings and then down swings, these slow down swings, you're really feeling that your, your left arm is staying connected to your chest. Such an important move in golf, that is. It is. Okay, that looks good. So I think the key thing is, Pierce, let's take a look at you hitting a shot. Okay. Now, I think what you, what you will notice when Pierce hits a shot, because he has such a good wind-up, you'll notice his rhythm is very slow and smooth. And that's what you're looking to get, really, this nice wind-up, and then using that body right will just slow it down, really. And Pierce has just nailed that. Well, this is your drive, Randy. Almost Maybe I'm the using the wrong there. one. Almost on the green. But what a difference in terms of that, that great body motion. That good shift of weight, and I think you finished right. I didn't look at your feet, but I'm sure you did. Zach, I'm, I'm blown away by the, all the <laughs> nice comments from him. I can't believe yeah. it. You said really good nice things about me. As soon as we're off video, he'll obviously change. <laughs> okay, Zach, there you have it. Give us a thumbs up if this helps you. And guys, post your comments down below. We get back to as many comments as we can. We get so many. Thank you so much for that. And also, guys, if this is the first time you've seen us, hit the subscribe button because these videos are for free, and it allows you then to interact with us. Okay, right, and also don't forget to check out meandmygolf.com for your free seven day trial. Just click the link below and don't miss yesterday's Go Low, which we're talking about how to spin your chip shots. Spin your chip shots. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next week.